What is up YouTube and welcome back to another amazing episode of Pet Battle PvP. Today we're going to be featuring one of my favorite pets, the Perky Pug. This thing is a reward for queuing up a bunch of random players to do dungeons and stuff like that. And I've always wanted to make a team for it and I figured, you know, now that I have a Pet Battle channel, it's a pretty good time. So the reason I like Perky Pug is it's a critter pet, even though it's a, it's a doggo. It's a power speed, it hits 273, which is actually a pretty decent number. And because it's a power speed variety, it actually hits pretty hard. It's able to go for big burrows. You can see 410 to 615, that's quite significant. Uh, bite deals in the 300, so that's pretty good. But also, it has Perk Up, which is a really, really good health restoration move. It restores 478 health to the active pet, and then increases your active pet's health by five per level for nine rounds. So I figured I wanted to build a team uh, where I can really play into making that perk up have extreme value. So I wanted to surround it with a pet that has a very similar uh, move in uh, Ancient Blessing, which restores 436, a little bit less heal, but uh, same thing, and those those do stack, so it's very, very nice. And also, being able to set uh, Moonfire, which again, increases your healing, your team's healing by 25% for nine rounds. So basically, this team just soaks a ton of damage, heals a ton of damage, and when you need to deal that big damage back at them, that's when you send in the, uh, the Fragment of Anger. This is an undead pet that I like a lot. This is a drop from Black Temple, I think. And uh, yeah, Soul Rush, big damage, 463, 25% chance to stun. And remember, an additional effect of Moonfire is it increases uh, all magic damage by 25%. So we have three magic dealing abilities. We have Soul Rush to go for a big single target nuke with a chance to stun. Uh, we have Split Fire Beam, sorry, Spirit Fire Beam to deal split damage to their whole team if you want to open with this, or even a Spirit Fire Bolt to be able to just deal a pretty decent single target damage. So hopefully we get some wins with this team. I think that I'm going to have to get some favorable matchups just because this is a little bit of a harder team to play because it really does lack a lot of damage. It's, it's heavily reliant on the Fragment of Anger. And if we fight other teams that have a ton of heals themselves, this team can definitely struggle. But you know what? We're going to get into some games and we're going to show them what the Perky Pug can do. Wish me luck. Here we go. All right, so we have another Fairy Drake, a Will of Remoria. I don't think I've ever seen that, and a Death Adder Hatching. It's actually a really good pet. Man, they have that Death Adder Hatching is going to absolutely destroy my team. Um, let's see, and it's actually kind of fast. What do we want to lead with? We have tons of healing with this team. I think it's actually better to lead off with the uh, Celestial Fairy Dragon. And I, I think they're probably going to be leading off with... All right, I don't know what this does. But Whirlwind hits hard. We actually just have to hard switch. Like, we have to just hard switch, I think, into the pug. That hurts, man. So what do they go for? They went for a Great Cleave. All right, so it, it hits. Hmm. It's not that bad. I think I'm actually just going to go for a bro right now. I want to see if he's Whirlwinding. He goes for a miss. So it's a... Oh, wow. That's a really... Soul Steel's busted. That's so strong. Yeah, he's just going to get massive heals right now. It's going to go for a perk up. It's going to give me a big heal. Top off my team a little bit. Man, this is still going to be really hard to deal with because that's good for his humanoids. Yeah, we have to go to the Fragment of Anger right now. But he has like tons of AoE damage, as you can see with that team. Yeah, he just went for a... Um, for the great cleave right there so let's see what do we want to do uh it'd be nice to be able to get some stuns but like he's a full we haven't even touched him yet uh man let's go for it maybe we'll get some stuns or something we did get the stun that's really really valuable should we be just trying to melt our back row slowly no i think we actually just gotta get this thing off the board still stun we take those that's a low roll on that too all right so next turn he's gonna be going away he's gonna get a little bit of a heal here man i want to use one of these where do I get that pet? That is such an amazing pet. Holy moly. Like, I actually think I don't I don't know if I can actually grind him out unless I hit a high roll. Yeah, I just keep getting roll rolls and he just keeps like melting my my biggest my biggest pet really. Alright, 169. Yeah, I can't even I have to just keep doing this. There's a crit. Yeah, we take those. Finally we're able to get our first pet off the board. Ridiculous. All because we got that value stun. Um, we might as well just go for a soul rush. Maybe we'll get another flinch or something. So is that a moonlight? Starfire? Moonfire. Same thing. Yo, let's go. Well, let's see what we get done. Big damage. He wastes his dragon capacity. That's super nice. We might as well just go for this. There's no reason to even go for the back row one. 
Alright, so he has Moonfire. He still has the life exchange. I gotta watch out for that. I think it's better to come in with my dragon, my own Celestial Dragon, because, like, I think we should just start off by popping the Ancestral Crossing, and then flamethrowing into activating Dragon Passive and finishing off with Moonfire. No, or we can just activate this right now. <laughs> um... Because we don't want to get too high, because then he'll just life exchange us. And then we'll be super sad. Because right now we have our dragon passive up, and he doesn't really want a life exchange. Like, he probably will, but this is going to do a lot. Yep. So we might, we probably get the KO here. He's going to take out from the burn. Awesome, that's an amazing turn. I think we're actually going to be able, I think we're going to be able to grind this out. I'm going to look up what that pet is, the Will of Remoria. Because now we just pop a really, really big heal. Um, and let mostly just the flamethrower do the work. Oof. Crit's never lucky. Look at that heal. OMG, the value. Oh, uh, I think we just switched to the pug. Uh, I'll put up one turn of flamethrower, I think. Just to let that get its full soak. I mean, he has super effective damage with critters. Maybe we're gonna lose. I mean, I don't... And he outspeeds. Actually, I think he's probably gonna get it. I don't know if pug can do it. Yeah, we'll see. He still has a burrow up too. And now he does even more damage with his beast passive. Let's see what he goes for. Is he going for a burrow or something? Or just going for a KO? Alright, so he's going for just a regular old KO. He's ticking out a little bit. Man, it's all up to the perky pug. All of this guy's moves are super effective against us. 342. I think you just actually go for a bite. Because if... If he burrows here, we just straight... If he burrows... We'll see. He's not brewing. He's going for the blind. We miss. Never lucky. All right, we have one more turn. I think we have to burrow here. It's either burrow or heal. It's a big ass heal though. His moves are all on cooldown. I'm gonna go for a heal. Don't kill me, bro. Don't kill me, bro. Big heal. I don't want to go into a situation. I guess he doesn't even have burrow. I guess I could have burrowed there. But I think we're gonna get it. I think we're gonna get it. Look at, look at all his health. OMG! Yo, he got so close. Did you see how much damage he did? Oh, man. I cannot believe we won that one. I cannot believe it. Yo, the perky pug absolutely busted. How do I get that pet? That sword? Where even is it? How do I get this? Is this like offside of the Nathrius? Yes, yeah, Castle Nathria. That pet is. That's a good pet. So shout out to them for using such a really, really cool pet in such a really, really good way. Soul Steel. What else gets Soul Steel? It's Putrid Geist? Yeah, Putrid Geist gets it. And it's one of the good, that's one of the best things about Putrid Geist. So maybe we'll try and use some of these other pets that have it as well, because dang, that was really good. And it's a Power Power Breed, right? It, it, that guy was using the Power Power Breed. That's a cool pet. All right, it looks like we have Triple Flying, which means, um... Yeah, our Fragment of Anger is just absolutely going to pop off. I still think it's a really good idea to open up with the Celestial Dragon here, though. Just because it enables the Moonfire, which makes the Ancestral Blessing and the Perk Up just get so much of... So, such a bigger heal. So let's see. We got to be on the correct side, obviously. So let's see. We can go for the Moonfires. All their moves are not very effective. Looks like they don't have a takeoff. So let's just go for the Moonfire. Open it up. 6% of maximum. I actually really would like to make a team that uses Glowing Toxin correctly. That did like over half their health. That's nuts. Let's see. So yeah, we'll just go for a Flamethrower, proc or Dragon can passive, and then maybe we outspeed. I don't think we do though. They hit a Cyclone and the Glowing Toxin. Wow, they want it. They want that dot damage over time. I do think though the uh, Flamethrower after our Dragon Pass will be able to get a KO here. Once they're going to switch. And then we just go for an Ancestral Breast and we top ourselves off. And then Moonfire's back up on cooldown, and we just... Yeah, he just scooped. Yo, we take those. We take those. That was an easy-peasy lemon squeezy right there, man. That dragon is so good for flying pets. All right, it's run back time for that first guy that we fought. You know what? We won that first one, but I almost want to say he threw a little bit. So I think he's probably going to get us. Man, that Will of Remoria is just so freaking good. I'm going to lead off with a Pug this time. And I think Pug is going to be the correct way to play this. Because, like, Pug is just the coolest pet ever. We're speed tying here. And the one thing that fairy dragons don't like doing when they fight it is they always want to be able to go for the perfect life exchange. So when you can weave around and add a little bit of RNG like that, those big crits, they don't like that very much. Uh, I think I'm actually just going to go for... 
Let's see. They're just going to go for Arcane Blast. If they're just going to start blasting us, we're just going to start blasting their health bar. He goes for a Moonfire. Awesome. Um, he has Dragon Passive up. So, like, I'm going to try right now to win a Speed Tie, right, and go for a Burrow. And I don't get it, but I don't die either. I don't die either. I would love to not die with this Perky Puck right now. That'd be amazing. He might switch. Yeah, that's a great play to switch there. Switching into this thing also mitigates it because he also only takes like a certain amount of damage. But I, I, in this situation, I'm really curious what I should be doing. I kind of want to get my heal. But then he'll start just like destroying my whole team. I am going to go for the perk up. I, I want to start stacking this perk up. It's so strong. Nine rounds of multiplying your team's health by five points per level. Very, very strong. Like you can see our perky pug is, you know, back in action. And this was the problem pet. Like, oh my gosh, he just healed a massive amount. He sift oh, so Siphon Animo, so that's what that move that is. All right, that's that's a busted move. So we have to, like, finish this guy off, like, right now. 267 heals, 166. That's so busted. Bam! Oh, and the crits, the perky pug popping off. Cool beans. Awesome, we'll be able to finish that thing off. We just have to send out something faster, so we have to send this guy out. Let's see. We don't want to low roll. Like, this move can low roll 237, so we actually should probably just go for the Soul Rush guarantee, get that KO. Like, we have to, I think. Yeah, I don't really want to, because that's one of our big cooldowns, a four-round cooldown, but, like, I need that thing off the board. He's going to send this thing out. I think it's actually just a smarter play, because he wants to use the Life Exchange. Uh, we're just going to switch into something as a heal, right? No, oh, I guess he's just going for that still. 421... I'll go for the flamethrower here. He's going to life exchange me? Cool. He's not life exchanging. He's just moon firing. That's nuts. So my plan is going to be... I think we have to just moon fire. We don't actually have to moon fire. Yeah, we do. I'm going to moon fire. He's probably, I don't know if he's going to life exchange or what. 520. Yeah, we're taking on by a throw. Those arcane blasts are doing so much. All right, I didn't know if he was gonna live exchange. I still had like 600 health. But let's see if we can actually win this one. Um, I'll try and go for a heal. Never lucky. All right, we're in end game now. Who's gonna win? My moves are pretty not great. I'm actually gonna save my soul rush till I know it's safe because he's gonna go for a blind. Damn it, he's gonna do that this turn, isn't he? I messed up. I should have went for that Soul Rush earlier. Wait, why isn't he doing it? Ah, whatever. It's better. It's now or never. He has me. Let's just win! Oh, we got it! Why, did, why didn't he over Burrow? Why didn't he Burrow chat? Oh, why didn't he... Uh, there's, there's no chat. We're not streaming. But, like, he didn't Burrow. He didn't Burrow. Um, that's, that's really weird. But, you know what? I'll take it. If you're just gonna go on autopilot and not Burrow and... Not, I mean, I guess I still had a guaranteed tie at the end because I'm an undead pet. But you know what? I, I think we'll take it. I mean, the fact that we were able to defeat the Will of Remor... Re Remor... Nia. That's such a cool pet. It's Siren Athrys' sword. I want one. Maybe I should actually do some raiding. If you guys want to see me do some raiding to get this amazing pet, let me know. And let me know what you guys' thoughts on this team were. Uh, I had an absolute blast. Perky Pug's one of my absolute favorite pets. And, uh... You know, the Celestial Dragon and even the Fragment of Anger, they actually had some pretty decent synergy. We got some amazing crits today. Uh, we got a value stun off with the, uh, you know, the Soul Rush from the Fragment of Anger. And uh, overall, it was a pretty good time. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on this video if you want to see more. We're trying to get to 100 subscribers. So if you actually watch this whole video up to this part and you're not subscribed, I'd really appreciate it. It would really help me out. I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one.